Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level of Tuts, and today we're going to go over some more things in taxonomy. So let's go back to structure and let's go to taxonomy. So what happens if you want to add a child to one of your terms? Well, let's go to list terms under our product or project type. Okay, and let's say we want to have a new uh, term, and this term is going to be uh, under development, we're going to have what CMS that I used for under development. So we're going to add a term, and this term is going to be Drupal. So, uh, like the others, it's all good. Let's go into relations here, and we're going to say this is underneath development. Okay, so let's click save here. Okay, let's go back to our project type. As you can see, uh, development's now a child of Drupal. So another way we could have done that, let's create another one, add term, and this is going to be expression engine. Because I've also made sites in expression engine, and we're just going to click save this like normal. Okay, let's go back to our project type. So we also want this to be under development. We can physically click and drag this over. As you can see, you can even make it a child of Drupal, or you can make it a child of whatever. So we want this to be under here like this, we'll click save. Cool, so now we have two children under development. Let's actually click edit in one of these and see what the generated URL path is. So it's now project type Drupal. Cool, so if we go to this Drupal one, there's not gonna be anything. Um, actually, I'm sorry, let's, uh, let's go back. Let's go back to our taxonomy. I'm gonna make one more and it's gonna be Magento. Okay. And we're going to have this be under development as well. Okay, under this uh, Perpetua project, if you recall, I built this in Magento. So we can scroll down here and we can select it was uh, developed in Magento. So notice how you can have just click Magento and not development. It's no big deal. Uh, but just notice that. Okay, so now we have this site. It was built in Magento and it now is categorized. Um, as development, magento, and design. Cool. So uh, let's go back to um, our taxonomy term. We can click on project type here. Um, the, if you recall, these were under st project type and then whatever our taxonomy term name is. So let's type magento. And this should list the site that was built in magento. Cool, so that now is a little bit more specific. We have a parent, we have a child, and you can keep going with that. So let's talk about some more things. Let's go back to our taxonomy under structure. Okay, and now let's click uh, under uh, project type. We'll just click edit vocabulary. And you'll see under here there is list, edit, manage fields, and manage display. So let's look at Manage Fields. So if you see under Manage Fields, we have Name and Description. If, let's, uh, let's go to Structure Taxonomy in another window, just so I can illustrate this. If we edit this, Project Types, um, yeah, let's go to, uh, well, I'm sorry, let's go to one of our actual terms and edit one of our actual terms. You can see there's Name and Description. Well, what if you wanted this to be a little bit more customizable? Let's say you wanted to output some information on the screen when you were showing all of a particular project type or something, or uh, you basically, you just wanted something else. So let's say you wanted to, to be able to describe this taxonomy with more than just a description. Uh, basically, you wanted to add another field. But you, you can do that by actually adding a new field, just like you would add a content type. So field type, it can be anything. So if you want to have uh, the date that the particular, particular taxonomy term was created, you can have a date field here. And we can uh, that way we can keep track of when tags were added to projects or something like that, if that's something you're interested in. Um, or really, it just offers a lot of extra functionality, something that you might want to look into. So let's add a date field right here, just so you can see it in action. Uh, we'll just call this tax date because it's easy and it's just gonna be a pop-up calendar we'll save this yep 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 okay let's um, save this once more okay 
And let's go and refresh this creating or our development one. And we now have a date field, which is great. Cool. We can uh, totally customize these taxonomy. So you can see it's almost like a piece of content itself. It is just a, a term that you can use to categorize things, though. But it's really flexible. It can do whatever you want. Okay, well that's just some of the things you can do with taxonomy. Like I said in the previous tutorial and future ones, we're going to be going over some cool things you can do with taxonomy and views, and it's going to come up along the way in other topics. Uh, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video below, or let us uh, hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. And thanks for watching. Bye.